In other news at six, spring classes began today at the University of Idaho, and many who were planning to do a virtual semester have decided to attend the school in person instead. Yeah, there's a feeling of safety around campus now after the arrest of Brian Koberger. The man from Monroe County is due back in court tomorrow for the killings of four Idaho University students. 69 News reporter Priscilla Ligori talked with someone who spent time with Koberger in the Poconos. And she has spoken with a forensic psychiatrist who weighed in on Koberger's past here in Pennsylvania. Six years sober, Rich Pasqua now works at a rehab facility. But back in the day, he says he did heroin and marijuana with Pleasant Valley classmate Brian Koberger. He'd be like, hey, if you drive it up, like I'll smoke you guys up because he'd want us to hang out with him and stuff. He didn't really have like a lot of people to hang out with. Pasqua says he worked with Koberger after getting him a job at a local pizza place. He was a nice guy. He was very polite. But... You talk to him for a few minutes, you'd walk away, and you, you think to yourself, like, all right, he was a little strange, but, like, it wasn't in a bad way. There have been several reports of Koberger's alleged drug use and stint in rehab before he pursued degrees in psychology and criminal justice. Pasqua said Koberger's entire family was nice, noting he was close with his dad, who worked in maintenance at Pleasant Valley. Like many others, Pasqua said Koberger was bullied in his younger years for his weight. I never got any bad vibes off him, ever. Like, just a little awkward. So Pasqua was among many floored to here, Koberger is accused of murdering four Idaho college students. We talk with renowned forensic psychiatrist Dr. Carol Lieberman about how the 28-year-old's past in PA may have impacted his future. Brian Koberger studied the criminal mind after studying psychology because he was trying to understand himself. And the more they get rejected, the more low self-esteem they develop, the more anger they develop. The stabbings were what Dr. Lieberman calls a rage killing. That is why he wasn't really able to keep track of things, his DNA and the knife sheath, as well as he knew to from his studies. We'll note defendants are presumed innocent until proven guilty. And while Dr. Lieberman has closely followed the case, she hasn't evaluated Koberger herself. Her theory? He wanted to be a notorious killer, just like he was reading about in his classes. Countless people in the play in Valley Schools, Northampton Community College and DeSales University communities tell me they're going to be following these court proceedings closely. We'll have more on Thursday status hearing on air and online. At Pleasant Valley High School, Priscilla Liguori, 69 News.